You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out a Lightastic Mega Ball from Scientific Explorer, ages 6 plus. What's cool about this one is it says flashing light bulb. So what is that all about? I don't know. I have made this type of ball before and other shapes in previous videos. Let me show you the exact size so you can kind of get an idea with me. So it looks pretty big. Now look at his hand. He's kind of holding it like this. So maybe tennis ball size. But it's kind of one of those balls where you bounce to activate. And there's everything that's inside. It says mold it yourself, which is going to be fun. And I like to do those kinds of projects. Now I forgot if it was cold, lukewarm, or hot water. The little Scientific Explorer crown is molded into the plastic. Let's just see. Let me get it out because I know I'm going to need water. Do a quick look at the instructions. You know, that whole process. And then I'll have to come back with some supplies. Something down on my tabletop, you know, all that kind of stuff, that fun stuff when you start a project. So here it is. So yeah, what do you think? Tennis ball? I think it's a little smaller than a baseball, but... Okay, so it looks like they give you all the colors you need. Do they say the color? This one's hard to tell. It almost looks like black, pink, orange, white, blue purple and green so it's technically not a rainbow ball but we're gonna make a rainbow of colors and in this light up ball we'll have to see how that works uh, instruction sheet okay i got it all out let's see close mold around ball oh around light ball okay so that's going to be the step one i don't have anything else ready i'm just kind of kind of playing right now all right Let's see. Okay, done. Simple. So you have the open side. That's done. Pour in one color. Shake gently to center light ball on top of powder. So you're kind of kind of moving it around. Okay, I get it. That might be difficult to do. Fill to the top. Okay, then uh, that's three, four. Fill to the top. So then you keep filling. It looks like you want to try to get it at least two layers up. Then fill can with water swirl, soak for four minutes, let sit for 10 minutes. All right, so how do I activate the light? That's the question. Do I need to do something before or after, or do I need to set it? Oh, simple enough. It's ready to go. All right, so let me get some water. It didn't say. Fill can with water. It doesn't say any kind of temperature. It's a one-sided instruction sheet. And then store in canister to keep from drying out. All right, I get it. And you'll have a nice, colorful, giant mega ball. I will be back. All right, so I am still organizing here. I'm trying to get uh, decide on my color placement. I'm going to avoid trying to be anything other than just colorful. A rainbow of colors. Now, they didn't give you a yellow, but you got pretty good color choice here. One, two, three, four, five here. And it looks like white and black. But maybe this is purple. I'm not sure. It doesn't say. So we'll use that one last. We'll use this one maybe in the middle since it's just a neutral color. And we'll start with purple. All right. So basically this is snapped together like you saw me do. Now I need to put this powder in. And then, well, let me see. Let me just put some in and see how it reacts with that ball in there in regards to, I'll do half, moving it around. Because it's going to be hard to kind of keep it on top. It's going to want to keep dropping, right, if I'm not careful. So instead of trying to use a little bit of color later, I think I'm just going to go full colors now. Okay. That is color number one. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see it all pouring in. And then let's go with this color. Jostle this around orange okay then let's see if we can roll the ball and get this to level out get that ball in the middle 
like I said, that's going to be challenging. I think that's the only challenging part now is to try to get that ball somewhat in the middle. You almost want to take a tool. Let me see if I can move it over and then kind of push it down. That's what I just did. All right, that should help. And then let's do pink. Now let's do, uh, well, I guess I'm going to have to use them all. So let me go with a darker color next to the orange. It sure does look black. Okay. Let me see if I can, we can peek in there, huh? Okay, so there's a lot of black stuck to the side. Try to get that up underneath the ball and then get the ball back into the middle and kind of lock it down hold on okay now I think I should just leave it where it's at let's go with the pink and then the blue or actually I got pink let me do green white and then blue and that's all of them so it should fill it up after this now that was the first color that looked like it's actually staying on top I don't know if I could show you all the way in there let's try see some of the green is kinda on the top level and then white and I'll top it off with the blue and that's all my colors so if it doesn't fill it now there's nothing I can do let me move this back in here sorry okay and then last but not least is blue Okay, I'm going to let that jostle down just a little, try to keep it. I think you need just a little bit more to really top this off. So I'm going to leave it like that. Hopefully it stays round. Now, it says uh, fill can with water. Okay, I'm going to use this glass container. I got all the colors. Yes, all used. Let's shake this off here, off to the side. A little bit extra. And then get this in here. And I tested it for height. It looks like it's going to clear and sit in there real nice. All right, so swirl around, soak for four minutes. So here, let me set my timer and get it ready. Of course, I'm not going to leave you here for four minutes. But I'll leave you here for 10 seconds while I get my clock set. Okay, zero, four, zero, zero. All right, swirl. Here, let's do it this way. So if we see any bubbling action, you can see it directly. Let's get this out of here. I brought some extra water in case I need to fill this up. And here we go. Swirl around. Okay, the water's going inside. I see it from the top. Then it says soak for four minutes. Okay, just gonna let it find its natural balance spot. Fall. They show it upright, so I'm gonna try to keep it upright. And start. Okay, so I'll hold this for a few seconds and then I'll prop it up once it finds its spot. Yeah, I got a little measuring cup here. I'll use this as my propping tool. There. Maybe top it off with a little bit of water. And I will check back. Now it's up over the top. All right. We'll see what happens. I'm curious. I will check back with one minute left. And then we'll see where it's at. It's probably not going to change much, but it's still, we'll check it out. All right, down to the last minute, actually 50 seconds. Then the next step, seven, says let's sit for 10 minutes. So as soon as the timer goes off, I will do it. It seems to be expand. It expanded slightly, even though I push it together really good. See, that side has expanded. 
Hopefully we're okay. It looks like it's still round. I'm not sure how centered that center light is. I did try to center it and I did do something they didn't say by trying to keep that centered. So uh, let's go. Let's take it out. 20 seconds. Ooh, 20 seconds. Here we go. And then let's stand for 10 minutes. Let's get that out of the way. Let's move this here. Here, I'll move it over. Well, that side's good. And here we go. My timer's about to go off. It's going to count down. 3, 2, 1. Done. Okay. All right. I will be back in 10 minutes, and then we will uh, take it apart and see what it looks like. All right, here we go. I am set. I was just going to clean the tabletop. It's been a minute. I have a minute 24, and we'll see now it's definitely expanded. Not much, I mean, from what it was. But I think the water is dried up now in regards to that. Let's get some of the little extra powder out of the way. Okay, and let's try this. It says Scientific Explorer on the side as well, okay? I might have to do some modifications to this, like cut the end, which I've done on other ones where there's extra, but I think we're pretty good. It's at 49 seconds. All right. I'd say that's pretty exciting. All thrown out, and 35, 34, let's see, let's take a look at it, it should pull apart real nice, I see a little bit extra right there, 24, 23, uh, I have to tell you, the temptation to pull this apart earlier was very great, and it looks like it's going to come apart real nice, here we go. At least I'm hoping it is. Ooh, did you see it? It's like you can see it on the, the outside here as it breaks from the shell. I don't know if you can see it there. Okay, top is off. Ooh, look at that. That is cool. Let's break it free from its, its capture here. Oh, that sound, it's like, almost like peeling skin in a way. Ooh, it is flashing. Okay, and let that sit just a little. It's pretty round, I would say. Let's spin it. It's got a little bit of misshapenness to it, but I think overall, if you grip it, you can kind of see the size now. It is a giant. Ball. I'm going to say rainbow ball, and I don't mean rainbow in relationship to the exact colors of the rainbow. See, I can use the word rainbow just to represent a rainbow of flavors, a rainbow of colors. So that's what I'm going to call it. It's my rainbow of colors mega ball. The only thing I would probably do is not use black. I would have doubled up if they had the option on other colors. Black or white, I don't know. Bouncing wise? Sponge-wise, and the light's going off. I know it's hard to see at the light, but let's just bounce a little bit more. Ooh, sorry. There we go. Here we go. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 Now, I'm not, th I'm not necessarily throwing it down. You know, I'm not whipping it at the ground. Because this will probably break apart if I do. It's still soft, and you could just feel it. It's got some flux to it. Fluctuation, that is. All right, let me turn off the lights. Let's at least see it in the dark. It is lit up, and uh, we'll do that next. All right, so I have a flashlight on just so that the camera can focus. See that? If I take the light away, come back, it has a hard time focusing quickly. So now I'm going to take it and show you this way. So if you uh, can't see flashing lights in colors especially, then uh, look away here. So here we go. Is it centered? I'm going to say it's pretty close to being centered. You don't see it, I don't see it necessarily from any one side.
And so I have the camera on what's called auto lighting. So if I take out some of the black, the light now from the side, let's see it now. Should stay focused here. Hopefully it does. I'll try to keep, oh, see, now it might have, oh, there we see. I was quick enough there to keep it in focus. Yeah, I think I like it just from this, this little section right here, where you don't see the black. It's still cool. Now I'm hitting it a little bit harder. Whoa, that hit everything. Let's see if we can zoom into this a little. Yeah, see it's not gonna it's gonna have a hard time focusing super close. Don't turn off, don't turn off. Don't turn off. Oh, turn off. There you go. Focus. Focus. Let me turn that light back on. That gives a little bit of light. All right, let me come back to light now. I think that's pretty cool. We've seen it in the dark. And it works. It's the first time I've ever made a light up bouncy glow ball. Well, not glow ball, light ball. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to say a success. And I'm going to, I know someone's probably saying, break it apart and rip it up. Maybe in another video, but for now, I am going to keep it because I want to see how long it does stay in this. Let's see if it fits too. Oh, squish it and it will fit. So that's your storage vessel. So I will test it and I will come back. Now, I was thinking, I mentioned in a previous video, everything that I promised you, like if I said, I'll come back to that someday, I want to know all of those in the comments. So let me know those. And it's okay. I won't be hurt if I... Uh, if you call me out on things, I want to know because I want to try to complete things that I said I was going to do. And I already did with a couple kits, so those videos will be coming up. And there are more. I know, the, I know the ones for sure that are kits that I said. I have a small list of those, but I need a bigger list from you out there. So let me know. I know it's hard not to keep bouncing here. Let me do this. I'm going to bounce it harder than normal. Whip it down. Hopefully it stays together. And then we'll see if it hits my ceiling. I have to do it over here because I don't want to hit a light. So here we go. Yes, it hit the ceiling. All right, so, and it held pretty good. Ooh, it looks like it might want to, oh, that must be where the seam was. All right. Ooh, wait a minute. There is a little fracture there. All right, so I won't do that again. I'll let it stay really nice for a while. Come back in a future video for something and say, check it out. Here's what it looks like and then maybe break it apart then. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for giving the videos a thumbs up. It's really appreciated. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, Pick it up. Thanks for watching.